bits of information for you. Google has launched this project called Project Loon. Loon comes from loony or lunatic or mental. That's why they have called it Loon. They are launching balloons around the world to bring internet to areas that are not connected by internet. Funnily enough, some of these areas are not connected with electricity also. So what you'll do with the internet once you get internet there, I don't know, but they, at least they're trying. So they are doing it in two phases. The public outreach is Project Loon, where they have launched a test pilot for this, of launching up 20 balloons around New Zealand to see how they can get to internet to these remote areas. The second phase is with this company called O3B, which they acquired. O3B stands for the other 3 billion. 3 billion people on this planet do not have any possible access to the internet, as in they're not covered at all. The telecom, the landlines, the satellites cannot reach these people. So Google is launching satellites to reach these people, and the balloons relay the internet off to these people, of the entire world's population, which I think is about 8.5 or 9 billion. Six is the tabulated one. They assume that for every person you count in Africa, there's another person waiting. Right? According to census reports, it's come to about 6.2 to 7 billion. But the estimations, which you don't have any way of documenting for sure, is they guess that there are about 8 billion people on this planet. Okay? Because we have this problem where people are living longer, dying less. It is a sort of problem on the resources, but we won't go into those discussions. Coming back to this, we have 1.11 billion active users on Facebook. That's almost as many people in India, more or less. If you look at the number of people who have signed up, that's far in excess of this. Anybody who has more than two Facebook accounts? Anyone in this room? That's the justification of what I'm talking about. Right? In less than 50 people, if even one person has more than one account, translate that by math to 1.1 billion. Okay? You can do the math on your notepads later. Anybody want to guess how many in India on Facebook active? Sir shared earlier 7%. Six okay. Six crore. Ten crores. Sir shared earlier that the internet penetration in India is about 7%, 7 percent, 7 odd percent. So we had about 7.8 billion active users from India. These also include Indians who have traveled abroad, who are not part of the census anymore. But these are the Indians. Rather than me just showing you a slide with how many people are on Facebook, in India, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, does this make some context for you now? When I talk about the internet being a possibility for every business, if that's how many people are on Facebook, how many people are there on the internet? If that's how many people are there on Facebook, is it worth, is there a possible audience, your customer base may exist online on Facebook? So a simple question, should you be on Facebook or not? Does that get answered by this simple number? That's the context of showing you these boring numbers. Twitter has half a billion people. If you look at number of accounts, how many Twitter accounts? We all know what Twitter is, by the way. Yes, Twitter is a simple messaging system, which is online. It's similar to the way SMS works. Less than SMS. SMS allows you 160 characters. Twitter allows you 140 characters. You can do three or four things. We won't go into the depth of it. But that's simply the concept. Do you remember how many SMSs you sent in the last 14 days? Okay, one exception. Anybody here under 25 or anybody know anyone under 25 who can count the number of messages? Correct. Because you have had found solutions which replace the cost of sending the SMS. Twitter is exactly that. It's replacing the standard way of communicating. Because it's so short and simple, even half a billion users, which is a very small percentage, today generate, on the average, four tweets a day. What does that mean? You have about two billion tweets going out every single day. Think about the amount of information that is being generated by a small audience, and it's growing. In India, we estimate we have about 18 million. These are all numbers in the million. Social media, nobody talks in hundreds or thousands, unfortunately. Okay, they love big numbers because that's many, how many people are there. LinkedIn, anyone here on LinkedIn? What about the rest of you? Any reason not to be on LinkedIn? Okay, so can the people who are not on LinkedIn raise their hands? There are quite a few of you, you won't get singled out, don't worry. You all have email addresses, right? 
You all have businesses, possibly, some of you. Does your business have an email address or a website? Yes. So, LinkedIn is the social equivalent of having a business email address today. That itself is one reason why you should be present on it. One other thing I usually ask participants in a workshop is, okay, so once again, the people who are on LinkedIn, you all have LinkedIn profiles created? Are they updated? Do they have your name correctly? Are they your profiles? Why are they not updated? Any reason in particular? Why? That's one right question. True. How many social networks are you on, sir? Five, ten. Right? Anybody else? More than ten social networks that you're active on? No? I have an account on about 257 of them that I remember. Okay, there are over 700 social networks that are active currently. I signed up for four yesterday. There is a, there is actually software for that. Managing password and logins. Google has created this thing called single sign-on, where today you don't have to log in with separate IDs. You log in with your Google ID or your Facebook ID. Have you seen that? Any smartphone owners here? Right? Most of your apps ask you to sign in with Facebook accounts for this, this same reason because you can't remember that many logins. My point is, today a social network is defined for one particular purpose. You like dogs, there's dogspot.in, which is a social network for dog lovers. You like eating food, there's Zomato or Burp. They're competitors for every function you want to do online. I arrive in Nagpur, this is my second time here. The first time I came here was for my engineering counseling in AIEEE 10 years ago. That time, I wanted to find a hotel. I didn't have internet on my phone. Today, I feel like having cheesecake. I can figure out how many kilometers I'll have to walk in which direction to choose which cheesecake, how many people have had it, whether it's good or bad, whether it's open, without asking anyone, without lifting a muscle. That's the whole power that is coming to you because people are there, so businesses are coming on to that. So once again, jumping back to our track, LinkedIn has over 200 million registered users. They're not talking about active users. Because, once again, relevance, most of the people in this room have LinkedIn accounts. Most of you have created it and forgotten it. We used to make this thing called a curriculum vitae or resume in our college after graduation, right? Or in our final years, which we only update when we are looking for jobs, correct? That's how we understand or we assume LinkedIn is for. That's not what it's meant for. If you think that updating LinkedIn will spark off your fellow employees in your office, that you're looking for a change of a job, then it's time to break out of that mindset. That's no longer the case. I'll go towards the end in the question answers on why and how changing that small thing can help you a lot, even if you're a B2B business or you're B2C or you're just networking, why it is relevant. Anybody want to guess how many people in India on LinkedIn? Ten million, okay. Twenty. Who's gonna say thirty now? This is a sort of bid, right? Nine million. Okay. We have 20 million registered users. Okay. And about 13 to 14 million active users. When I say active, I mean people who have updated whatever job they're doing on LinkedIn. That itself is activity. They at least go once a month for 10 minutes, go check in their LinkedIn profiles, see who has checked them out, see what possible job offers might be waiting for them, realize none of them are, go back. Right? That's popular behavior. So, now we'll jump after these numbers. What is social media? Who can define social media for me? We are all on Facebook, so we are using it. Can you define something you use? Anyone awake here? Okay. Okay. So, how do you distinguish one medium for from another? How do you determine if I talk about I told you that I am present on over 256 social networks. They are all different kinds of social media. If I ask you, is so and so a social media or not? How would you understand whether it is? Is WhatsApp a social medium? Is SMS a social medium? Is a Gram Panchayat a social medium? So, what is the relevant context? The social part of it. How do I determine whether a particular media may or may not be social? This is in context yeah, of what? To interact with anybody. Right. There so is no control as such you cannot interact with somebody else. 
So it sounds scary, right? It's all mass public. Nobody really has control over it. So this is in context of what our friend earlier told us. Traditional media. Do we understand what we mean by traditional media? Print, television, radio. The term used for this is broadcast media. One way communication. One person or one body or one group of people broadcast out information to many. One to many. Correct?